What's up guys, pop up 101 here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to compress or decrease your Unity scene size, or in Blade and Sorcery terms, your map size, and the best ways to do it. Now just pay attention because it does get a little bit tricky, but you will see how worthwhile this method is in the end. So to start, you want to of course have your map be finished with all its components or your Unity scene. You go to File, Build Settings, and what you want to do is add the open scene. Now this is the scene that I have open right now, my PyPop101's.floater. This, and th that's where you can see the name right there. So after doing that, what you want to do is you want to go to your Build Settings. It's already going to be open. You build it. For me, I'm just going to set it to Build in Downloads. And after it's done, I'm going to show you a trick to see how much space everything in Unity takes up. For example, the textures, the audio, the meshes, everything. What you need to do is close out of this. After it's been built, you go to console. You can clear it. It doesn't really matter. But you want to hit these three dots. You open the editor log. What you need to do is hit Control F, you type in Build Report. After going to your Build Report, it will show you the megabytes, gigabytes, kilobytes, the percentage that everything takes up in your Unity scene. So for example, textures and sounds take up the most of this Unity scene for me. So one thing that I could do is decrease them. What I would need to do is go to Project and find the textures that I used. So these are all the textures that I used on this map itself. So for this, if we look at it, this is normally 5.3 megabytes. Now what you can do is if we cut this in half and we turn Crunch Compress on. That's all you need to do. Now one thing to note when you compress it, the file size will increase, but the downside is the texture resolution quality will also decrease as well. What I'd suggest is playing around with these different pixel sizes and different compression amounts to find what you like best and to decrease the file size the most. So if we hit apply, it goes from 5.3 to 1.3 easily okay and if I do that to all of these there's a dramatic difference now the next thing that you can do we go to our audio so this part is really easy all you want to do is decrease the quality now if you listen it sounds nice and clear even if we set this to a ridiculously low number, like 50, we hit apply. I'm going to fast forward this part up because it'll take a while to actually apply. Now, if you take a look at the file size, it was cut in half, which obviously makes sense because we put the quality from 100 to 50, which is half of that, which is actually really, really good. So now if we go to our file, build settings, and we build it again, one thing you'll notice, let's build it in the same place. One thing you'll notice is that the audio sound itself, the megabytes will have decreased exponentially, which is exactly what we want because we want to decrease the size of our map so that it is less taxing on our game. So with that, those are the main two things for this video, because if you look at the rest of them, the DLLs, yes, that's a little bit high, but besides that, nothing else really stands out. It's mainly just textures and audio. So with that, if you guys like this video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It helps out the channel a ton, and I'd greatly appreciate it. If you haven't already, there is a link to my Discord server in the description where you can learn how to mod, learn new tips and tricks like this, and just hang out with a bunch of people from the community. If you'd like to support the channel and myself, there is also a link to my Patreon in the description where you can also receive other benefits like having a special role on my Discord server, 
and receiving free assets as long as you are a patron on Patreon. So with that, thank you for watching.